Stay black in America. Don't leave, don't go anywhere. Truly the greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. You can become anything you want to become. I'm talking about, man, um, I'm in here working and doing my daily my daily service to my community. It's a pleasure to do so. I've been doing so since 1985. It's 2024 now. And on occasion I have things that occur here that just um, leaves me like um, thinking like, why? I had a female come in the store here. First of all, don't know her from a man in the moon. Not a not a regular customer, not you know, just somebody that floats in. And um, she asked me, can she use my bathroom? Now, anybody who doesn't know, I work behind uh, what's called plexiglass, right? See this? See this? I work behind plexiglass. So, I have a secure door. I don't let anybody come in the door besides uh, uh, sales orders that are coming, uh, maybe occasionally uh, officials from the, from the government come. And that's it. That's my security. I don't have anybody coming in here, which means I don't have to worry about um, uh, theft, breakage here. Uh, I don't have to worry about um, uh, people coming in causing commotions, fighting anybody, hand-to-hand -hand combat. I don't have to worry about that because I'm behind a plastic glass. Don't have to worry about people taking something out of the box and laying it somewhere. Uh, maybe it, 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 it's supposed to be refrigerated all the time. And, and so, and so. The woman wants to use the bathroom, right? Everybody has to go to the bathroom, for sure, for sure, for sure. Always think about my, my, my daughters or my wife when someone comes and asks that from time to time. But I, I start thinking more about myself instead of the person asking can use the bathroom. First of all, you're a grown adult. Wherever you came from, A to B, you didn't use the bathroom. There's plenty of... Uh, places that have public bathrooms, you got Walmart's public bathrooms, you got all kinds of restaurants and public bathrooms. You know, you come into a convenient corner store in the nation's capital, we don't have public bathrooms here. No public bathrooms for, for customers, anybody else to come here. So, I told her no. I said, no, nah, you know, I don't, have, I don't have public bathrooms, sorry about that. She asked me, well, because you have a, roll, a little bit of paper towel. So they didn't want to purchase any paper towel, I wanted some paper towel. So I took some paper towel gave it to her, through the, through, the, through the little wheels, she took it. Now, I'm located less than 127 feet, feet, not yards, 127 feet from a large park service. I mean like dense woods, probably thousands of trees, um, U.S. Park Service, right? Where people go up there time and time and they, they smoke weed up in there, they go over and have sex up in there. Uh, they, they they walk the dogs all through there and dogs, you, you know, messing all through there. She could have easily went over there and used the bathroom pee. Like any man would do, have to go to the bathroom, no, so no double stand, go around and use it. But let me tell you what she did, which was more trifling than I could imagine. More trifling than I could imagine. She went 10 feet from my door opened her car door and pissed right there. Peed right there, 10 feet away from my place of business. Peed, I mean, she didn't care who was walking by. So what difference would it make if you were in the, in, in the park in the woods? It's not dangerous up in there. What, what difference would it make? You went over there and peed there. Your urination could have went down in the soil like, like the deers do and the foxes do and the squirrels do and rats and mice and possum and raccoons. You know that, right in the soil like, like, like that. But now you're gonna pee in front of a store here, right? Okay, then the paper towel that I gave this woman, evidently she used it to wipe herself. Now I didn't, wouldn't serve her per se pen, but cause I'm waiting on customers. But I saw her glance, did you glance, happen to see that? I said to myself, well, this is retarded. And then she wipes herself, right? Paper towel, and she happens to be on a bloody period, I guess. Blood on the paper towel, and then she proceeds to Throw the paper towel on the ground. Now, in cities, everyone has trash dumpsters at the rear of their house. On my particular street, you probably got like 16 homes. That means 32 trash cans. She could have easily threw that stuff in. She throws it right in front of my door. And the wind almost carried that mess up in here. 
I prayed and the wind sent it someplace else. Thank God for that. But I said to myself, like, how trifling would it have been if that trifling person would have came and invaded my territory? Who knows what germs she's spreading? Who knows what sickness she has? Who knows what anybody has? You know, these places that allow you to go to the bathroom, I guess they, they hire somebody to disinfect it, use the Clorox, they spray it, you sanitize it, clean it out really good. And still we don't know how often they clean it or what transfers or diseases. Why would I ever allow anything like that to come in here? And I was so grateful that I didn't let compassion, you know, dip his face in there, you know, weakness, the milk of human kindness, and let some trifling person that invade my space. Furthermore, when somebody invades your, your, your space, it's a thing called casing. They see how many exits you have, how many alarms you have, what other security you have, so they can relate information to somebody else. So you never let your kindness turn to weakness, and you never let it come and smack you in your face. You always stay straightforward. You always stay on, on, on. You always keep your mind alert, man, because something is always going on all the time, all the time. Before I come behind this protected wheel. Uh, this glass, this plexiglass, bully glass, I'm going to call the police. I'm not going to waste my energy and my time going over there dealing with anybody who's causing some problems when my job is to call the police. I'm not going to take it to them. I'm not going to put myself right there in, in, the, in the atmosphere. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stay right over here where I am. Let them enjoy that, you know, 10 by 5 feet space of area where they come in, and I'll try to wait on the customers as quickly as I can, get them in, service them, make sure I have the goods they want, Give me a change, you know. And basically, man, that's it. But I was just so, so disappointed, so angry that um, I even gave her a paper towel because if I wouldn't have, maybe she had found some other place to go. Maybe she'd have went someplace else. It wouldn't have been right here. So, um, all you ladies out there who, you know, I guess uh, uh, tend to have to use the bathroom all the time and always you know, go, every, if you're, you're going to the streets, you're in everybody's bathroom, you know. Man. That's on you, but guys uh, tend not to do that, man. We tend to, before you have to use the bathroom, you know, you make sure you, you're in a place where you use the bathroom. You're in there, you're going about your business. I see less guys doing that than women these days, and it's, it's very disgusting to me. The, the low, the low morale, not the, the low moral rate it is the females doing that kind of stuff. I mean, it's just, uh, Lord, Lord helps, uh, you know, someone looking for a, a maid or a woman, and, uh, you know, they just got so, so low morals and so um, got lack of decency. And um, I would, I would prefer not to even be witness or seen none of the whole thing. I wish that person would have just went somewhere else and, and, and showed that nastiness somewhere else because your mind thinks enough negativity anyway. You don't want to feed the fire. So. Uh, I came here to say this, that, you know, women got to use the bathroom, man, check yourselves. Make sure you, you, you've A to B and make sure you use your bathroom, your house, wherever you're going from, your work, make sure you use it. You know how far you got to go. You can't fill up on a bunch of fluids and drink a bunch of stuff and you can't wait till you, till you get to your place of residence to go to the bathroom. Then don't drink anything. I don't think you're going to fall out. Don't drink anything wait till you get home somewhere. But but above all things, don't don't go urinating in the public. I mean, and anybody can buy, or buy kids or or adults or children, anybody can see you and 10 feet from a, a, a business here in the nation's capital. I mean, it just is a, a trifling this thing is, uh, you know, someone could do uh, other than going number two. So uh, look, like, share, subscribe to my channel and, and comment on that because I really like to know the comments on that because to me it's just a, you know, very um, you know, sorry thing to see. So like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.